I'm going to show you how to make a simple sugar paste teddy bear. So this is just ordinary sugar paste in a sort of teddy bear brown colour and you need four main balls which are for the body and the arms, legs and the head. So the body is the biggest ball, then the legs and the head are about the same size and then a little bit smaller for his arms. So we start off with his body. So if you just pick this ball up and you want to get it in your into your hands like this and make it into a teardrop shape. See that's the sort of shape you're after, a little teardrop with a point on the top. And this makes his fat body here and then this is where we're going to sit his head. I'll just move these out of the way so you can see. Then we're going to do the legs next. So to do this we make a sausage. So you roll the sausage and once you get to the end of your three fingers you're making it into a doggy bone. So these thicker pieces at the end are going to become his paws. So do you see that? That's and then just curl it round like that and that is going to be his paws and his body is going to sit on this part here. So just put a little bit of sugar glue on there and sit his body on there. Just give it a little wiggle to put it in place. Now if you just gently nip his finger, his feet like this that will just make his feet look a bit more like paws than just blobs. So really gently. And now the next thing is his arms and his arms are exactly the same as his legs. So you're doing exactly the same thing. Make yourself a sausage. As soon as you get it long enough, get your two fingers in and just make it a little bit longer. Three fingers. It's just a, a narrower version of the legs. And then you'll just put a little bit of glue around the top here. And we put those in place on the top. So we put them round the top of the point there and then down the side. And then what we're going to do is just flatten that point down and then the arms and that top there make a nice platform for his head. So if we put some glue on the top there, we've got our nice ball for his head. Just re-ball it so that it's nice and soft. Sit that in place and if, when you put it in place, if you hold it with your thumb and forefinger, you can just flatten the front a little which will take his facial features. And that's your basic teddy. Now we need to do his muzzle which is just a little ball of paste and you flatten it down, a little bit of glue on the front and you just sit that in place like that. And that's going to have his facial features and then his ears go on the side of his head. And it's important to get those in the right place. Just make these soft so they're a bit more pliable. If you put them too low down like that, he ends up looking like a monkey. So you have to put them up on the top, more towards the top of his head there. Like that. Then if you use a bone tool, you can just use the small end of it just to give his ears the right features and it helps secure them in place. And you can also use this to do his little paws. So you can do three little paws that way. Three there. And then the big end you can use for his big paw at the bottom, like that. And then you can use the point to tool like this to just give him a little tummy button. That makes him look like he's got a lovely little fat belly. And then we've got to give him a nice smiley face. So use a scallop tool like this. And we poke that into his muzzle. And that gives him a nice smiley face. And then if you use the knife, you need to go from his mouth up to the top where his nose is going to be. Two indents for his eyes, which are right on the top of his muzzle there. So you make two little holes there for his eyes. And then with this pointed tool again, you're just going to make a dent for his nose. So now it's just a matter of adding his features. So we need to give him two eyes. Now you can either pipe eyes in with royal icing or you can add them with little balls of paste. So I've got a little ball of white sugar paste. You need to try and get them all the same size. That one doesn't look the same size. And then if we put another little dot on the top 
we need to do some little black pupils. Now this is where you have to watch where you're putting the pupils because you don't want to put them right in the middle of the eyeball because it just looks like you're staring. So to give him a bit of character, always put the pupils a little bit off centre. That makes him look a bit more fun. And then we're just going to put a nose in place, which is where you've made the little hole. On goes his nose. And there's your little teddy bear.